Welcome. I'm Lisa Slankard with the League of Women Voters. The League of Women Voters is a volunteer, nonpartisan, grassroots political organization. In our over one year history, we have not endorsed or opposed a candidate. Our mission is to empower voters and defend democracy. Candidate interviews encourage informed and active participation in government and increase understanding of major pu public policy issues. The League of Women Voters of Cook County is composed of more than 1,600 members from 12 local leagues within Cook County. The League of Women Voters of Chicago is one of those local leagues. As described in the Illinois Voter Guide, the County Circuit Court Clerk is responsible for maintaining court records, authenticating court orders and judgments, and administering oaths to witnesses and jurors. With me is Iris Martinez, one of two candidates running in the March 19th Democratic primary to be the nominee for Cook County Circuit Court Clerk. We have asked the candidate to give a two minute opening statement that should include their qualifications and experience, what they want to do during the term of office if elected, what do they want the voters to know about them. They will also be asked three questions and will have a one minute to answer each question. They have to receive the questions in advance and a timer is being used. Candidate Martinez, please begin your opening statement. Good afternoon, everyone. I am lifelong Chicagoan and mother of a daughter. My name is Iris Martinez. I am the current clerk of the circuit court, the incumbent. Uh, I started my career in the city hall and uh, the mailroom of the city hall and I worked my way up in the last 40 years from the mailroom to who I am today, the clerk of circuit court. In between that time, I worked, uh, I also was served 20, almost 20 years in the legislature as a state senator. They represented uh, the Logan Square, Albany Park, Bauman Cregan area. That was for 20 years until three years ago that I ran for this position uh, as clerk of the circuit court. I can tell you that I have been, when I was a legislator, uh, a lot of my uh, um, bills were around women's health. Uh, the LGBT, LGBTQ community, and also my seniors and children. I worked very tirelessly to make sure that there was uh, all kinds of bills that would affect the quality of life of those individuals. Now, as a clerk of circuit court uh, here, I, I came into an office that I had to restructure uh, and really do a, a, a real uh, a technology upgrade, which something that was that had not happened. Uh, and I was I implemented, you know, the uh, uh, the uh, Odyssey system here which is something that I inherit when I came in here. Uh, one of the things I can tell you is that we've made a lot of progress. We have a call center now uh, that has filled over 316,000 calls since December of 2022. Uh, that was a pilot program and now it's a program. I also opened up an expungement center last week as someone who did communities in the courts. We wanted to make sure that we brought back the problems that our communities were facing and we saw a need for us to open up a center for expungements to make sure that people are getting second chances in life to do whatever it is they have to do. Again, I was a past president of the National Association of, of, uh, of, uh, of elected officials uh, that were you know, senators or states. And I also am the current uh, DNC Hispanic Caucus Chair. Thank you very much. And now we'll be going on to the questions. Our first question, is what are the most pressing issues in this office and how do you plan on addressing them? You will have one minute to answer this question. When I was elected, when I was elected, I would leverage the work that, to automate, automate all the case files that we have here. We've been able to digitize right now over 70 million pieces of cases and, and, and scan and scan documents into the system. I, we've been able to also uh, work with the University of uh, Chicago and in, in the lab, making sure that we can look at the way we can collect data to see how we can best improve policies in the future. One of the things that we've been doing here with that call center is collecting the data. We're also collecting the data at the Democrat, at the uh, at the at the survivor center that we have. I opened up a survival center in Markham, making sure that we are gathering data that best can help us form policies in the future. That's one thing that it's, it was very important. You know, this is happening too often where, you know, we need to uh, look at the orders of protection and the gap that exists between that being carried out by law enforcement and, and the protection of, the, of that family, of that family, that the victim and the children. Thank you very much. Our second question is, 
How do you intend to gather and analyze data to identify areas for improvement within the criminal justice system? You have one minute. Well, as someone that has been you know, in politics for the past 40 years, data is very important because that's the only way we're going to be able to formulate and be able to uh, gain, gain access to information so we can better serve the people of our Cook County uh, residents. But more important, I think that for the past, you know, the one thing we have to continue to fight is for these for these issues about what the voters are, are, are looking at and how the voters look at us as people that, you know, that what, we, what we're going to be doing this office to assure, to assure that, you know, that we are working with the community. I lost a niece, I lost a niece of several months, I mean, a couple of years ago to gun violence. Again, we need to make sure that the data, the data that we collect when it comes to order protections, when it comes to domestic violence, when it comes to criminal, that data is going to help us be able to determine how we can look at policy and go down to Springfield or ordinances or, or things that I can do here in the office to better equip myself to offer those services to the people of Cook County. Thank you. Our final question will be, how do you plan to ensure transparency and accessibility in the operations of the clerk's office? Thank you. And you know, the transparency is something that I've been working on since we came here, but since we got to this office, we had to lay down the foundation. There was no foundation. There was no HR. There was no real foundation. We inherited a system that was rigged with so many uh, IT issues. We brought in and brought in teams of people that had experts that were back that had background experts in these in, the, in some of these areas that I needed to make sure that I surrounded myself with people that actually know New Cook County and that can get, give us give get, formulate a the best policies in this office uh, to make sure that we are out there with our constituents. To me, it's important that we continue that we continue to work towards and, and working with all of our partners because we have to have partners to work together from the city attorney's office to the state police office to the uh, public defender's office we got to work in unity to make sure that we are have all the tools that people need out there to make sure that they make the process coming to court much much easier and less painful thank you very much for participating in this candidate interview